Hi guys, welcome to Network Engineer Stuff. In this video, we are going to focus on IP static routing using two routers and two PCs. So for this, I have already opened Cisco Packet Tracer and uh, what I'll do is I'll take two routers first of all. So this is my router one and this is my router two. I'll take two PCs as well. This is PC one and this is PC two. Uh, I need to connect via this serial link, but uh, I think I don't have any serial uh, card over here so let's add a serial card uh, how to do it power the power off the router and add this card and then again power it on you can see here it is getting power on again I'll uh, take this router also I'll uh, power it off and then add this NIM 2T card and again power it on and you can see here the device is booting up so I have for this uh, I've added the serial interf interface card over here uh, now let's connect this two routers so just connect these two routers and you can see here that it is getting serial interface now uh, again between router and the PC we also need connection so router 1 so router 1 to PC 1 and uh, router 2 to PC 2. So this is how our topology is. So I'm just adjusting this topology now. Okay. So, so this is how we have the connectivity in our scenario. So let's give uh, the IP addresses. So I'll just uh, click over here and I'll give 12.1.1.1 slash 30 let's say the IP address to serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 of router 1 so here we will have IP address let's say 12.1.1.2 slash 30 fine then for this LAN interface uh, we'll give an IP address for router 1 as let's say 10.1.1.1 slash 24 uh, and this PC will give IP address let's say 10.1.1.1 slash 100 uh, dot 100 slash 24 uh, here on the LAN interface will give it as let's say 20s network so 20.1.1.1 slash 24 and for this PC2 will give IP address 20.1.1.100 slash 24 so this is how we are going to keep the IP connectivity so let's let's quickly now configure this IP addresses on the on the router itself so I'll go in this router and I'll go into the CLI I have to press enter over here so what I'll do is I'll adjust a bit the window So it will give a clear view. So that's fine. Okay, so what I'll do first of all is I'll give uh, the host name for this router. So I'll go in the config T and give a host name to this router. Let's say I've given the host name R1 to this router then i have an interface the interface is serial uh, 0 slash 1 slash 0 so i'll give an ip address of 12.1.1.1 and it is slash 30 so it will be 255.255.255.252 Okay, there's a typo over here. So it is 255 and I'll do no shut. Okay, so this is what I've configured. I have to configure another interface also that is that is gig 0 slash 0 slash 0. I'll give the IP address as 10.1.1.1. Here the subnet box is slash 24. So it will be 255.255.255.0. I'll simply do no shut. So this is what I've configured over here right now. 
router 1. Similarly, I'll take router 2. You can see here this interface is gone green right now. So, this is my router 2. Would you like to enter initial configuration? No. And this is my router 2. So let's configure this also with host name, let's say R2 this time. And uh, let's configure the other stuff over here, which is interface uh, serial 0 slash 1 slash 0. So here the IP address we have to give is 12.1.1.2. Okay, so I'll give this IP address over here, IP address. 12.1.1.2 slash 30 so it is 255.255.255.252 I'll do no shut and the other interface is gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 I'll give IP address as 20.1.1.1 255.255.255.0 also do this no shut okay so we have made uh, we have given the IP addresses on the P on the uh, router so let's give it some PC also so this is my PC I'll go into the desktop and here IP config and give the IP address so here we have the IP address of the PC one is 10.1.1.100 and subnet marks is slash 24 so it will be 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway will be 10.1.1.100 because for this pc the default gateway is going to be the router and it is going to be the ip address of the router where this pc is getting connected so that is 10.1.1.1 uh, so this is for my pc1 Okay, so this is the PC1 IP address which we have configured. You can also verify it from command prompt IP config. You can see over here this is the IP address and this is the default gateway. So now let's take PC2 and similar stuff desktop and here we'll give here the IP address is 20.1.1.100. Subnet marks 255.255.255.0. Uh, default gateway will be here 20.1.1.1. Okay. I'll go again and check over here IP config. Okay. So here you can see we have got the IP address. Now, now let's check PC1. And what we have to achieve is we have to uh, see that PC1 is getting uh, you're getting ping from PC1 to PC2 and vice versa. So from PC1, I'll check whether I'm getting ping of PC2 or not. That is ping 20.1.1.100. Now you can see that we are not able to ping simply because we don't have routing. So 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 how, so how to figure it out? Now you can see that here from PC1, you know. I'm trying to ping uh, PC2, so but obviously the, the from this topology, uh, the packet will be traveling from PC1, it will go to router 1, then router 2, and then you have to go to PC2. Now from PC1 till router 1, whether the packet is going, of course yes, because we have configured a default gateway when the connectivity is up. So let's check whether first we are getting ping to the default gateway or not, which is 10.1.1.1. You can see that we are able to reach from PC1 to router 1. So on router 1, let's check whether we have a route to reach PC2 or not. So this is my router 1. So from router 1, if I check ping 20.1.1.200, which is 100, which is uh, PC2, and I can see that I'm not able to ping it because I don't have the route. Now, uh, many people will have this question on how to check routing table you know every router have a routing table so the command to check routing table is show IP route so this is this is basically uh, the routing table of this particular router and here you can see that it do not have any subnet of 20 it have a network of 10 it have network of 12 
but you do not have a network of 20. The another command to, uh, you know, if you have a bigger routing table and to check that routing table, you can just, uh, you know, uh, give this a command show IP route followed by that destination IP address. So destination IP address is 20.1.1.100 and you can here clearly see that the network is not in the table. So, so, so we have to have to do uh, here we'll do a static routing. So I have to configure static routing. So I will go into configuration mode and I'll type IP route. The destination IP address is 20.1.1 let's say zero because it is slash 24 so followed by the subnet marks okay and then followed by the next hop ip address now for router one or pc one to reach particularly this network 20.1.1.0 uh, the next hop will be this router two router two is this interface serial zero slash one slash zero so this ip address i have to give it as a next up i can also give the serial interface uh, this particular serial interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 or i can give the ip address of router 2 so here i'll give the ip address of router 2 which is getting connected to router 1 which is 12.1.1.2 so i'll give it a 12.1.1.2 okay so now you can check with that same command show ip route 20.1.1.100 now you can see that we have a routing entry for 20.1.1.0 slash 24 and this is static the distance distance is nothing but ad value and the ad value here is one and uh, you can see this next hop that is 12.1.1.2 which is the ip address of this particular router 2's interface which is getting connected to router one now if you try to ping Let's say we will try to ping it from PC1, uh, PC2. So I'm pinging from PC1 to PC2 and you can see that still I will be not able to ping. The reason behind uh, this is that, you know, we have the packet which will be generated from here. Once we are giving the ping, it will be reaching from PC1 to router1. Router1 do have the route to reach PC2 uh, from uh, from router 1 to router 2 from router 2 it will reach to PC2 but but this PC2 when it is sending the reply packet it will send to router 2 but router 2 is not having uh, the, the route uh, to reach again to this particular network which is 10.1.1.0 zero so here also we have to give a static routing so i'll just take this router 2 over here and you can see over here also that show ip route 10.1.1.100 you can see here the network is network not in table so i'll just go and configure over here ip route 10.1.1.0 followed by the subnet marks and then followed by the next stop i told you there are two options like you know next stop either i can give this ip address 12.1.1.1 or i can give this particular interface that is serial particular interface means interface of that particular router so here on router 2 i have the interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 so i can give that also serial uh, 0 slash 1 slash 0 default route without gateway if it is not point to point interface it may impact some interface but it is a point to point interface so it it won't make much difference so now you can see over here that we have a route okay i'll show you the difference what what the difference will we will be able to see now here it is uh, show ip route for 10.1.1.100 you can see there's a now there's an entry for this particular network and uh, this is also static but here you can see clearly that uh, you know it is directly connected via this interface so here uh, in, in output of router one we, we were able to see the next step as the ip address but here we are seeing it as a serial interface so this is a difference it won't make any difference if you have point to point link so this uh, so you can go for this option also now now let's check whether we are able to ping from pc 
one to PC2 or not. I just take it. At this time, you can see yes, we are able to ping from PC1 to PC2. Now you can check it via this trace route command 20.1.1.100. I think the command here is trace at 20.1.1.100, and you can see the trace it. Now you can see here the trace route. Uh, that is it is taking 10.1.1.1 which is this particular IP then it's taking 12.1.1.2 which is this particular link and then it is taking going into the destination that is PC uh, PC 220.1.1.100 so guys uh, you know configuring static route is is I can say it's it's, it's pretty easy but uh, uh, but but very important uh, to to know this because you know in large networks also we do have uh, a static routing configured uh, uh, not too much extent but yeah an extent where it is required you know so using static routing uh, is uh, knowing the knowledge of having the knowledge of static routing is very important before you study any routing protocol because it is a very fundamental thing in in routing so guys i'll stop here in this video for today uh, i'll catch up in your next video till then bye thanks for watching have a nice day